There you go. It thinks, it writes, it creates our quote, makes the poster, downloads the file, and then posts it live on my LinkedIn. Amazing. What is up, buddies? Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, a warm welcome. My name is Joe Ed. Today, I'm so excited to show you something really cool. It's something I've been playing around with, and I think you're going to love it. Imagine an automation system that can actually think for you, like a super smart assistant for your marketing or business. It'll find those topics that your audience just loves, you know, the ones that get the engagement. Then it'll create great content, write awesome captions, design personalized posters, and it'll even post everything automatically. Yeah, you heard that right. No more manual work. By the end of this video, you'll not only learn about it, but you'll also be able to actually set up a system that generates dynamic graphics, like posters, that fit your brand perfectly. Think about it. All the time and effort you're going to save. So, are you ready to jump in and get this set up? Let's get started. All right, buddies. Let's kick off this fantastic automation project. Okay, so first things first, we need to head over to make.com and sign into your account. Then, you'll see the button. It says create a new scenario. Go ahead and click that. Next, let's give our scenario a name. I'm going to set mine to automate dynamic poster, LinkedIn. But you know, you can call yours whatever you want. Now, let's add our first module by clicking that plus icon and then search for Google Gemini AI. Select the connection there. Now, if you're unsure how to generate an API key and connect Gemini here, I've added a link to a helpful video guide somewhere around here. You can check it out later, but for now, let's keep going. Okay, so now we're going to set our AI model to Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. Under Messages, make sure you set the role to User, and then under Parts, set the message type to Text. Now, let's head over to my Google Doc template. I've already prepped the prompt that we're going to be using today. I'll just drop the link down in the description below for you, so feel free to take a copy and use my prompt as a reference if you want to. So, basically, what does this prompt do? Well, it basically acts like a research assistant for me. It brainstorms topics and then writes LinkedIn captions. For my case, I asked it to generate topics that would be valuable to business owners or marketers about things like content marketing, SEO, social media ads, and copywriting. Okay, so now let's copy the first prompt. Go back to make.com and then paste it into the text box. And then go ahead and click OK to save the first module. Now, what I like to do is to rename my modules so that I know exactly what each one does. I find that it just makes everything a whole lot easier. Right click, select rename, and I'm going to name this one Generate Topic and Caption. All right, before we move on, let's just do a quick test run. Right click and run this module only. Nice, it's all green. Okay, that means it's working, which is always a good thing. Let's see what we've got. Under Output, Click that plus sign next to result. And there you go. The content is looking awesome. The headline and the body of the content, they're all done, ready to go. Okay, so on to the next step. Click the plus sign and add another module, and then choose Google Gemini AI. Click Create a Completion, and then select Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. Under Messages, click Add Item, and then select user for the role and under parts select text as the message type okay so this time we're going to use the second prompt template so back to the google doc let's just scroll down a bit and yeah there you go so what does this prompt do well it basically takes the topic and caption from our first module then it analyzes it and creates a quote like content that fits the topic it is designed to be used in our poster, and I really hope that I am explaining that in an easy way. Okay, now let's copy this second prompt and then return back to our make automation. Let's paste that into the text box. I'm just going to expand this view a little bit so that we can all see it better. Now, what we need to do is to connect the result from the first module. 
just highlight the text inside the brackets, then press delete, then replace it with the result from the first module, and don't forget to save it by clicking OK. And as always, I like to rename this module to keep everything super organized. I'm going to name this one Generate Quote. All right, so amazing. We finished the content creation part. Now let's just quickly test if everything's working correctly. Nice. It's generating the topic, writing the caption, and creating that personalized quote for us. Let's click here to see the result. Yeah, awesome content. And the second module, the quote is perfect. This is great. Buddies, we're making real progress. Let's click save just to be safe, as make.com doesn't auto-save our scenario. Okay, so now... Let's introduce the star of our automation project today, the API template.io. I'm so excited to show you this. This is the tool that's going to generate our poster designs for free and dynamically. Actually, to be honest with you, I've been wanting to do this for months, but the other methods like Google Slides and while Canva didn't have a direct API that can edit designs and export directly, it just didn't work for me. So this tool is perfect for PDFs and images. It's just what I need. Let's explore the pricing just for you to see. Here we can make 50 images or PDFs with three templates every month for free. Isn't that amazing? Of course, if you need more than that, then you can just check out their paid plans. Okay, now let's sign up for a free account. You can use Google just like I'm going to be doing. Okay, so at the top, click Manage Templates and then New Image Template. Now here, we have some ready-made templates here that you can try. I'll select this one for this video. It's the 1080 by 1080 pixels under the Instagram category. And let's give it a name. I'm just going to name it with my name and then click Create. All right, so let's customize it. Just click Edit. And notice this, buddies. Each time you click an element on the design, you'll see exactly which layer it is, and also its property name. Okay, so now let me upload my own photo. Just click on the image, and on the right side panel, click Upload. Nice. Let's change the name. Click, and I'm going to type mine. And then next, I'll change this to my handle. And this is important. Pay close attention, buddies. This is what we're going to automate as the quote. And here, I'll type, subscribe to my channel. Done? I mean, don't forget to click save. Okay, buddies, let's head back to make.com. Click that plus sign again and search for API template.io. Select create an image. And then click create a connection. Now, what we need to do is to connect the API key. Go back to API template.io. Click API integration, and there it is. That's my key. You know the drill, keep it safe. And also, don't share it. Copy it, then go back to make, and paste it into that API key box. And click OK. Nice, we're connected. Let's set this up. Under payload type, keep it to key value pairs, then click add item, and under key, we paste that code from our design. So now, back to our template, and this is where we get that text code. At the top, click that zapiermake.com N8N button, then find the text that you want in our template, and click Copy Property. Then go back to Make, paste the key in there. For the value, we'll connect the result from Module 2. Click Result. For Template ID, select the template that you want to use, and then click OK. Wow. Buddies, we're getting so close now. Let me just save this real quick, just to be safe. Then, let's try it out. I'm going to click Run Once. And, boom. Yes, it's complete. And there are no errors. That's awesome. Let's check our result. Okay, the topic is about content repurposing, and there's our personalized quote. Let's go see the poster. Click here. Go to Download URL PNG. Copy that link and then paste it. 
Boom, it worked perfectly. Okay, so let's continue. Now, let's add a new module and search for LinkedIn. Of course, you know, this also works on other platforms too. Okay, so here's a quick tip, buddies. The LinkedIn module on make.com, it only accepts a file and not a URL. So, what we need to do is use an HTTP module first. Don't worry, I've got you covered. So, let's hover here between these two modules, then right-click, and then select Add a Module. Search for HTTP and click Get a File. Then map that URL from API template.io. Click Download URL PNG, and then click OK. OK, so now, let's delete this old LinkedIn module, add it again, and then select Create a User Image Post. You see? We have our HTTP file here. Now we just need to map the rest of the content. For the title, let's use the result from the second module. Same with the alt text. And then map our LinkedIn caption from the first module and then click OK. And finally, the moment of truth. Let's test it live. I'm going to click run once. There you go. It thinks, it writes, it creates our quote, makes the poster, downloads the file, and then posts it live on my LinkedIn. Amazing. Let's go see it on my account. And there it is. We've automated content creation, writing, poster design, and publishing on social media. And buddies, here's another one. Pro tip for you. Just click the clock icon. Choose the days to automate this. Set the time. Activate the scenario, and you're all set. That's it for today's automation project. Buddies, if you got value from this video and helped you out, then give it a like so that more buddies who wants to learn automation can see it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you. See you on the next one.